join the 28 hour SQL Server Masterclass on the Udemy platform for only $15 instead of $89. Learn how to become a future developer or either a future DBA or performance expert on SQL Server with 150 exercises. Average rating for this course is 4.5. Okay? The link to the promotion is in the video description. Okay? Want to get started on SQL Server? Then join me! Rose Range Embedded Proceeding uh, Function. You can see that in some cases it can be very practical. Uh, in some cases, when we struggle to do a SQL, to do the analytics in Trozac SQL for the business intelligence uh, working. Okay? So we will work on the salary table, the salary column, sorry, and with the, the sum, okay, as salary with the alias. So let's run the query. <laughs> And we see that on the sales person ID, the value for is repeated four times. Okay, we call this is a range of four. Okay, three times, sorry, and not four. So we will first of all, of all do a sum of the salary column. We will do another buy on the sales person ID and we will do a row unbundled proceeding and a range unbundled proceeding. Okay? On the sales person ID. So unbundled proceeding act on all the rows before the current row. Unbundled following acts on all lines after the current line, the current row. I will show you what it does exactly by playing this fantastic query. We will understand much better. So for the words on the proceeding, the name is called cumulative sums by rows. And for the range, it's cumulative sums Bandwidth, okay, it's important. So, what the row embedded did, embedded, sorry, preceding did, it summed the two values of the first two rows, okay, which gave 189, okay, and then it had 189 plus. 43, which equals 232, and so on, okay, until the end. Understand? So what does the range unbounded preceding did? It did the same as the go, okay, it had all the same, and, but it stopped when it realized, uh, realized sorry, that was was repeating and continue, continue from five uh, with the cumulative found in the first five. Okay, so I'm showing you here, it's easier to understand. So here we see that uh, it did 100 six uh, two uh, 26 sorry plus uh, 63 equal 189 okay and then with add up at and at the level of the range we see that it added add up one time and repeated the value because the value for is repeated okay so now let's suppose that we have to do the same calculation but in the reverse order. Okay, so 
we will uh, therefore use the row between current and uh, unbinding following. Okay? Unbinding means, uh, means without boundaries. Uh, so I will do it in the reverse order. Let's run the query. And here we see that it does exactly, sorry, the same thing, except that it's done in the opposite direction. So, to, uh, 42 plus 41 equal uh, 83. Okay, and so on. And at a level of 4, which is repeated three times, it repeat, repeats sorry, the same accumulation three times, and after that, it continues normally. Okay, so we did the same thing, but from the bottom to, to the top. So then we, we calculate the same, the sum of the values that are adjacent to a current row only. Next example, here we will use the combination of rows number with the words current, preceding and preceding and following. Okay, following and current row with the close between. So we will forget the notion of range. And we'll, we'll talk about the rows. We will see row by row, and I will show you what happens. So it's important to understand for this column, it's the sum of the, pre the one preceding and the one following and the current row. And for the second column, it's the sum of the current query and the two following. Okay, understand? So, for example, uh, for the 232, here it did 126 plus 63 plus 43, which means the previous, the current, and the next one. Okay, so that gave 232. You understand? So, another example, for uh, 116, we always took the following, the previous row, so 33, the current, 33, and the following, the, uh, the next, sorry, 50, and E, the sum is 160. Okay? And as I explained you, for the second column, uh, for, for example, 132, it takes, it, it takes, sorry, 50, and 41, and 41. Okay? So it takes the current row and the two following rows, which gives 132. Okay, row between current row and two following. You can see that, that are powerful and that we can do a lot of things with them. And they are not very complicated at the syntax level. So rows, range, unbounded proceeding can be useful in your SQL code. So let's go to the next demonstration.